uh, 27. Uh, this looks like uh, invasive squamous cell carcinoma. That's what I call it. I don't see anything fancy or special here. Just good old-fashioned invasive squamous cell carcinoma with keratin pearls. Um, I guess I will bring up this while we're here. What's this? That's cancer, but this is not. This is just can a normal. Can you point to it again? Sorry, I can see. Oh it. no, go ahead, say it. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see it. Can you point to that again? Oh yeah, exactly. this right here. Um, it's kind of weird, yeah. right? It's got ducts in it. Ducts in it, yeah. So is that evidence that it's a eccrine carcinoma or something? No, I don't think so. I think this is cancer back here. This is a normal, well, not a normal, it used to be a normal eccrine duct, but when eccrine ducts get either cut or irritated or inflamed, they tend to get squamous metaplasia. They get benign, but sometimes glassy looking even. These aren't very glassy, but they get a proliferation of their lining cells, and sometimes they can become quite squamoid. You see that in biopsy sites, like under a melanoma biopsy site, you can see these things that look like squamous cell carcinoma, but have little ducts in the middle. So this is what we call a syringa metaplasia, um, and I think it's an important thing to recognize in practice for Dermpath because we do see this a lot and it can mimic cancer sometimes. Here, it's a totally incidental thing that I wouldn't even mention, but I thought it was a little pearl that I would teach you guys since we're doing intermediate level stuff today. You're ready for it. You're ready to learn about syringometaplasia.